Hi folks, this is Deland Tech with another macro moment. Just wanted to show you my current macro rig for 2019. It's a Canon 80D, which is really a bad brand name. It's an 80D, but it makes it sound like I'm saying ADD. Uh, the Canon MT26 EXRT macro twin flash and the MP 65 millimeter macro lens. Uh, sometimes that gets replaced with the EFS 60 in tubes. I've taken the liberty, liberty of taking one of my flash diffusers apart so I can show you how I put it together. I'm using the default diffuser that comes with the MC26, the one that Canon supplies. And over that, I've added a layer of quarter stop white silk and the necessary Lego pieces to hold on the front part of the diffuser where I've got another layer of quarter stop white silk and a Puffer Plus diffuser as the last layer. I want to try to redesign these a little bit. I want to separate the, the plastic from the quarter stop white silk so the light has some room to spread out before it hits that white silk. Um, I study a lot of portrait photography, both uh, how portrait photographers diffuse their light and how they light their subjects. And I saw one photographer using quarter stop white silk and I really like the effect that it has. It does a really good job of forcing the hot spot in the middle of a macro twin flash to spread out. <clears throat> One of the things that I've learned is that it's better to have multiple layers of light diffusion material than it is to have a single thick layer of diffusion material. The thicker the plastic, the greater the chance the light is just going to get absorbed. But, and if you can use several different layers of light diffusion material, there's a good chance that you can not only force the light to spread out better, make it look more diffused but you'll get rid of that hot spot in the center and that's pretty much what i've done with this diffuser and of course building it out of legos allows me to take it apart modify it and put it back together without having to build a brand new one with the key at the top and the fill at the side i've got the key on a kaiser adjustable flash shoe so that i can fire the key pretty much straight down with the fill at <clears throat> at an angle using just the regular cannon flash mount the benefit here is that I can partially wrap the light around the subject and hit the light and hit the subject with light from different angles. Uh, the net effect is better control over the highlights and shadows, and it makes the subject really look 3D, really kind of pop out of the frame. Again, that's just something I picked up from studying portrait lighting and, and how portrait photographers shoot their subjects. That's pretty much all for now, folks. Uh, until next time, happy shooting.